My name is Allie Hodges and I'm currently serving as AR's program director. I started here 16 years ago as a teacher when we launched our early college high school as a part of a nationwide um, initiative to increase access to higher education to underrepresented populations. And so we started with a really unique partnership between the Humboldt County Office of Education, the Fortuna Union High School District, and of course College of the Redwoods. And over the past 16 years have grown into this amazing program with a dedicated staff and um, consistently amazing students who go on to ac accomplish incredible things. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's Early College High School Initiative began in 2002 to increase opportunities for students who are underrepresented in post-secondary education. Since then, more than 240 early colleges have opened in the United States. Students have the chance to earn up to two years of college credits or vocational certificate during high school at little or no cost. Early College High School offers a dual enrollment immersion experience supporting the academic skills, experiences, and behaviors necessary to be successful in college and career. Hi, my name is Lindsay Adams. I teach PE and Foundations at AR. Hi, my name is Allie Brewer. I'm a math teacher here at Academy of the Redwoods. Most people know me and call me Brewer around Hi, campus. My name is Mike Chatfield, and I'm the History Social Science Instructor at Academy of the Redwoods. Uh, my name is Jacob Godinez, and I teach Algebra 2 and Chemistry at Academy of the Redwoods. Hi, I'm Angeline Holtzke, and I teach Biology and Geometry at Academy of the Redwoods. Hi, my name is Brooke Martin. I'm the Academic Counselor here at Academy of the Redwoods. Hi. My name is Jenny Wazney. I'm the English teacher here at Academy of the Redwoods. We have what's called the tier system here at AR. It's a gradual release of responsibility. So as a first year, you'll be in tier one. You start at Tier 1 and you go up to Tier 3, and it's pretty constricting. Um, there's a, a lot of support in Tier 1. You meet four days a week with everyone in your first year class. We help you um, figure out how to navigate this new world that you're in. We help you with study habits. We talk about um, things that are, pertain to, to just your class. And as I said, you meet four days a week, you fill out a form, we help you with email, we help you keep track of grades, we help you get support in your classes, we help you learn how to work with other students so that you can create work groups later on. And then you move into Tier 2. There are two levels in Tier 2. Um, again, a gradual release of responsibility, the time lessons, as the time requirement as well, lessons. And then you get up to tier three, which is what most uh, fourth years are. And that allows for you to um, manage your time on your own is really what it's about. So in tier one, we really work with you and teach you the skills of time management, TOES, time management, organization, engagement, and study skills. Tier two, you move up, you get a little release of pressure from us, but we're still monitoring you. And then in tier three, we still check in and give you support, but we give you a lot more freedom. You've earned that freedom, and you're able to have uh, the freedom that comes with that responsibility as well. So typically, first years um, come to AR, and they are assigned a full-time schedule, which includes our college readiness class called Foundations. The only variation um, might be based on math level, and um, that's something that we determine through our math placement test. And for a typical schedule, um, students may start taking college classes in their second year based on their eligibility, and that's really when they have an open period that they get to choose what class they'd like to take. If students aren't ready for college classes, then we provide them with a course support class um, or a math lab, basically additional support to help them get prepared for that first college class. There are a few things that you should know about the math department at Academy of the Redwoods. Um, first is that we offer Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2 for all incoming first years. 
There is a math placement test that will be given to make sure that you are Algebra 1 ready as we do not offer classes lower than Algebra 1. If you are already in accelerated math courses, you have the opportunity to um, go right into a geometry class or even an Algebra 2. And if you are not accelerated, we have made exceptions in the past. If you are college ready, you can take a college math class, but that is a very big exception. So in Algebra 2 and Chemistry, I try to follow inquiry-based learning model, which essentially means that we are presented with a question uh, from a real-life situation, and we try to uh, find good ways to find good sources of information and make well-informed decisions and claims um, based off of that information. And something that I love about Academy of the Redwoods is that we get to be on the College of the Redwoods campus, which you see behind you here. And we actually get to use their ecosystems. We get to visit the Humboldt Botanical Gardens as part of our curriculum. And we get to have access to the biology department's really amazing equipment and um, get some information uh, from those biology professors. Students at Academy of the Redwoods take a world history course and a U.S. history course. Both of those uh, basically a 20th century survey course. Then their third year they can decide, depending on their abilities, to either move on to a poli-sci CR course or take government and econ with me. And that constitutes their senior year requirements for history. I teach English 1-2 which is a combined English class and English 3-4 for the third and fourth years. You can take English all four years from me, or you can just take it the first two years and then go on to take college level English uh, your third and fourth year. Um, but we're still here to support you if you do so, or depending on what your plan is, you may want to stay in English 3-4 for a, a myriad of reasons. You'll take PE with me for at least one year, maybe two, and then you will take foundations with me for one year. All first years will take a year of foundations with me. In foundations, we talk about time management, organization, engagement, and study skills. We also spend a lot of time talking about career development and college pathways. Um, that is also where we're going to get you guys set up to start looking into college classes as a second or third year. We often get questions about what language or art programs that we offer. And so those are um, classes that um, our students take through the college. So um, currently, College of the Redwoods is offering sign language, French, and Spanish um, for their language offerings. If we have a first year student who's coming from a, a language immersion school, then we would suggest that that student reach out to one of us directly to consider the possibility of taking a college level language class outside of their school day, if that was appropriate. Um, we also get a lot of questions about our art program. So AR students get to take any one of the numerous art classes offered by the College of the Redwoods Art Department. Um, this includes painting, drawing, ceramics, some digital art options, um, and when students are eligible for their first class, often it's an art class that they take um, to kind of experience their first college course. Students that are interested in, in band or music can participate in CR's music program, um, and there are two music classes that do offer live performances. Um, so that's also really exciting when our high school students are playing with the college students. First, our A through G coursework, that is coursework which meets admission requirements to CSUs and UCs, um, that is actually built into our core curriculum. This means that if you follow our course sequence and receive C's are better and intend on applying to a CSU, or B's are better and plan on applying to a UC, you would then meet admission requirements for those schools. Um, areas A through D, which are social science, English, math, and your lab science, you can meet those requirements by taking classes here with AR teachers. But areas um, E through G, which are foreign language, visual and performing arts, and your college prep elective credits, you will have to satisfy those credits by enrolling in college classes. And that means that to graduate, you minimally have to receive at least 14 units of college credit. 
Um, and those classes can be built cohesively into your schedule. I'm here to help support with that, of course. Um, so you're not expected to know exactly which classes are going to meet what requirements. Um, but also know that you'll be attending these classes at no cost to you, as well as you know you won't have to pay for your textbooks. The only exception to that would be if your class were to have a um, materials fee listed of some kind. In that case, your family would then be responsible for paying for that portion of that class. Um, but there are lots of classes that don't have those required fees. The AR program also emphasizes career and college readiness, and we accomplished this through a number of different um, courses. As Lindsay has mentioned, first years often start with the foundations course, which will get you ready um, for embarking down the path of taking more intense college courses. Um, we also have a um, college and career course um, for third year students, and in my senior seminar course, you guys will have the opportunity to, you know, learn what is entailed with the entire college application process. AR is also a one-to-one -one school, which means that each of our students receive a Chromebook to support their academics inside and outside of the classroom. Another thing that's wonderful about Academy of the Redwoods is our small school size. We average about 200 students per year. That's about 50 students per grade level. So staff and students get to know each other really well. Uh, you'll learn each other's names very quickly and it's just builds a really incredible community here between all the students and staff. As a part of the district, our students are able to participate in any district-wide social events. Often AR students will go to Fortuna dances and vice versa. Unfortunately, because our schedules don't really align and AR students tend to be fairly busy, um, we're not, AR students are not able to participate in a Fortuna High School sports team or their FFA program. However, once they're eligible to participate in the CR programming, they can eventually take an agriculture class or program through College of the Redwoods um, or participate in conditioning um, for PE credit with College of the Redwoods um, PE department. Academy of the Redwoods doesn't offer any sports, but we do have a co-ed basketball team. We play in the Coast League, which usually meets on Fridays. Um, and we have an entire tournament, an entire season um, that lasts throughout the spring semester. Although we don't have any other offerings for sports, we do, we have had some um, clubs that have started up. So we've typically had a soccer club, we've even had a volleyball club in the past um, where students can get together and play. There are also a variety of different CR classes that AR students are allowed to take. Um, in their second or third or fourth year where they can play sports with the college classes. Current club offerings include writing club, drama club, STEM club, minority priority, film club, yearbook, rebar, gaming club, tabletop RPG, and esports club. Clubs are not consistent from year to year and students are encouraged to start new clubs of interest each year. So as a part of the Fortuna Union High School District, we're able to provide transportation to all students that live within our district. That means that AR students are able to take the Fortuna District outlying buses to the high school, Fortuna District, Fortuna High School, and then we run a school bus daily from Fortuna High School to the CR campus and back at the end of the day. Students that live outside of our district often take public transport transit <laughs> or um, arrange carpools privately with other um, students in their neighborhood. Also, um, the Fortuna District provides our students school meals, so that um, definitely includes a daily lunch. Um, so we do ask that families fill out our free and reduced lunch form um, so that if you're eligible we can provide that to you, but also students are able to purchase lunch, our school lunches, um, if they wish daily or students can um, go to the CR cafeteria um, and purchase their own lunch if that's something that they prefer. On occasion, we can also um, provide school breakfast if, if that's something that's important to our students. Again, it would just be a discussion um, with the student and a staff member to make sure that we could have that on hand for them. 
first couple of days it was difficult like trying to navigate but after a while you have like the root memorized in your head so it's easy you know where all your classes are and it, it's fairly easy to like remember where your classes are and where to go the transition to ar from uh from middle school to high school it was it was kind of hard at first but it got really easy like after a few weeks in school, it started to feel really normal, and so um, the school I came from, it was uh, where I didn't have to switch between classes very often, so walking long distances between classes was like the one weird thing that took a long time to adjust to for me, but if you switch between classes often, it should uh, come pretty naturally to you. Well, it really depends on what classes you have that day, and what you're learning. So some days you have very little work, but some days there's more. But it all really depends on your time management skill and AR kind of helps you improve that and helps you improve like how fast you can work and how fast like and what your priorities are. Well, I really gotta say I love the school. It's been really amazing for me. It's been hard for this last year, but I also know that it's really going to help me out once I get out of high school and after college, because you'll be ready for it. What I like about the campus is that it's open wide and being able to take college classes. My favorite thing about AR is probably the dances, um, like the Halloween prom, they're always a lot of fun. They trust you first, and then you mess up and they, give, and they have less trust. Usually with schools it's the other way around, it's like constantly eyes on you. Then, but then in a couple of years, they start trusting you. But like during boot camp, they're like, "Okay, this is your Chromebook. We trust you. Just use it." And okay, this is a free work time. I'm not gonna look over your shoulders. Just use it. And then, then if you start to mess up, they'll start taking some action. So all the all the teachers and all the students, because like there's there's probably like a group for you that like has the same interests as you and. Like this year, it's hard to make friends, but it seems like it would be easy because everyone wants to try to talk to you and everyone wants to try to be friends with you. Also, like the education here is great and I'm learning like a lot more than I have in like previous years. I don't know, there's a lot of good things about <laughs> AR. Um, I think my favorite thing about AR is that it lets you have a lot of freedom, but if it's too much to handle, then you can uh, take a step back and there'll be a a little net to catch you if you fall. Students can apply to Academy of the Redwoods during the spring semester of the applicant's 8th grade year. The first step of the application process is to submit a completed application packet. You can find this under the Admissions tab of the AR website. Once we process your complete application, we will contact you to schedule a math assessment. Students must pass the math assessment in order to move on to the interview phase. It is important to note that students who live outside of the Fortuna Union High School District will be required to submit an interdistrict transfer agreement to their district of residence by January 29th of 2021. This date is the same as our priority registration deadline, meaning that any applications received after January 29th will only be considered if there is space available.